first referee Erlindo Eusebio. Second referee Poli Sanchez. And now let's meet the starters first for the Richmark Sports 3B Elite Spikers. Middle blocker number three, GJ Guadalupe. Middle blocker number 13, Bunch Castell. Opposite hitter number 15, Curl Rosette. Outside spiker number 17, Colonel Ipulan. Outside spiker number 18, Clarence de Guzman. Center number 21, RG Douglas. Starting the battle is team captain number two, Carlo Almario. Head coach for Richmark Sports is RJ Francisco. And now the starters for the PGJC Philippine Navy Sea Lions. Outside spiker number 16, team captain Seaman second class, Greg Dolor. Outside spiker number four, apprentice Seaman Jake Jacob. Middle blocker number 15, apprentice Seaman Peter Kiel. Setter number nine, Louis Podadera. Middle blocker number 17, Joe Boy Sapita. Opposite hitter number 18, Seaman second class, Toto de la Vega. Starting libero is number 13, Seaman second class, Jack Kaling King. Head coach for the Philippine Navy is George Pasquale. Welcome back to the Inara Sports Arena right here, the heart of Pasig. You're looking at the starters for Richmark, who will be going up against the uh, erstwhile champions, PGJC Navy. And as we talked about it in the uh, top of our coverage, Neil, this is uh, somewhat uh, two opposing stories. One just tried to maintain their good um, performance so far since that first loss. We're talking about Navy and Rich Park just really looking to score their first win. They have picked up one set win so far. So, marami silang uh, gustong gawin, maraming gustong mangyari. It's going to be admittedly tough against uh, Navy, but that's the kind of challenge that the Rich Park uh, has in, in front of them. When you look at the roster of Rich Mark Sports, <laughs> There are mga players who are not yet in the Spikers turf. There are players also still in the collegiate ranks. So I would say that the talent is already there. The potential is there. But uh, you have to take note that this is a Spikers turf. Napakataas ng level of uh, volleyball dito. And we continue to increase that level. Recently, nga, kakabalik lang ni Brian Baguna yes. for the Signal HD Spikers. And in a few days from now, Marcus Pejo will be coming home to the Philippines to represent the Criss Cross King Crunchers as well. And uh, magandang development yon for the Spikers turf because uh, they will also force the other teams to grow yeah. even more. I was going to say, can it get even more exciting? I mean, there's so many new elements to this year's edition of Spikers. They're very different from what it looked like last year with the many, many more teams. Now, parang it's elite teams piling pili yung mga pumasok dito na kupunan. And uh, as we also mentioned, it's just a top four going into the semifinals. And I don't know, we're somewhat in the middle of the. Um, Tournament already, so medyo nagkakakilatisa na to. A lot of studying has happened on both sides. And so let's see if Rich Park is able to uh, optimize the um, their performance against a team that I'm sure they've studied and scouted. Oh, that one's outside, so break here for Rich Mark, getting their second point off uh, Jacob's service error. Game captain for Richmond Sports number 21, But now you're up, you're up against the uh, PGJC Navy Sea Lions. They're very hungry to enter that uh, final four. 
may mga teams na wala pang talo so for PGJC Navy hindi pwedeng madagdagan yung losses nila mm -hmm. And we looked at their numbers from the last time out. We know that PGJC Navy is a very strong blocking team. So something that Richmark has to contend with. But that one off the block. And a point for Richmark keeping in step here with Navy. Three serving four. Colonel Ipulan also scored eight points in that last game against Chris Cross. Uh, a while ago, we talked about Kaiser Rosales, who scored seven. So they are the top two players when it comes to attacking and scoring for the elite spikers. And Kurt that joust there, won by Richmark. Rosette there, getting the better of Dolor. And we're tied at four. And this is Richmark really playing loose. They seem to be uh, comfortable, enjoying themselves on the court. There seem to be much pressure on that side of the court. That's uh, something good that comes also with uh, a team in the position they're in. They're newbies yeah. coming in, just really in for the experience. No pressure. There are less expectations Ayon. also for new teams. But this is just the first conference of Richmark Sports. If they continue sure, sure. to compete here in the Spikers Surf, and uh, syempre, kailangan din nila mag-add ng new pieces kung mm -hmm. saan sila nagkukulang in the other positions. That was a service error by Ipulan there. And the ball right back to Navy now. Good first ball. Ito yung sinasabi natin na talagang babantay at babantay ang Navy dyan sa block. The Philippine Navy scored uh, 10 blocks against mm -hmm. Maverick. Sapita there with a solo block. Tough serves we're seeing. Oh, and there's the blocking again, two in a row for Sapita. See, Lions are just uh, building a wall in front of the attackers of Richmark Sports. So the lead spikers have to be uh, unpredictable if they do want to get a single block coverage on the side of PGJC Navy. Yeah, that's a good first ball. Smart play. Rosette just uh, sending it over right over the hands of the blockers, knowing that there's nobody there. And I think it's going to take a lot of that type of thing, just being creative and being innovative for Richmark. That service error. Unfortunately, for Richmark, just negating that good play. First technical timeout, eight for the Philby, AB five for Richmark Sports. Navy leads by three in this first tactical timeout. We'll be back. You're still watching the Spiker Surf Open Conference. It's Richmark's fourth game in the conference at fourth time din na ang kalaban nila ay veteran players dito sa Spiker Surf. Pero sabi nga ni Coach RJ, even if it is a struggle, they don't shy away from that because that challenge is exactly what this young team is here for. They'll be receiving a boost today as Curl Rosetti is coming back to play Serving and as former Lions, players ng Navy, malaking tulong nga sina Curl at Bonch Castell sa preparation ng Richmark, especially in terms of playmaking, service reception, as they hope to land their very first win. Chiki Neal. Thanks a lot, Doreen. And right away, Curl Rosette already making his presence felt there. Unfortunately, with a service error, but that smart play on the offense really uh, has him uh, targeted, perhaps, by Navy. Talaga babanda yun si Rosette as one of the offensive threats for Richmark. We're seeing a better distribution on the side of RG Dakles. He engaged the middle of that last sequence. 
That's going to be a point for James Guadalupe. Oh, nice try there with the pancake. Saved by Rosetta. Not good enough, though. And that's a point for Navy. With three point lead. I believe that's already the fourth kill block of the Philippine Navy here in the first frame. They're on their way to getting the same output in their last outing. For sure, yung mga parameters na sinati Coach George, kailangan nilang higitan pa yung mga numbers nila in uh, their last game. Oh, that's a great quick play there. Again, it's a smart of bridge mark. It's something that um, I guess they're also discovering now. Yung parang ngayon na lang nila sinusubukan. And that's a good play there by the setter. Volleyball is also a sport of systems. Uh -huh. And uh, itong Navy, ang tagal na nilang magkakasama. So the system is already solid. They're just really executing the game plan. And as for Richmark Sports, baka hinahanap pa nila yeah. kung ano ba yung uh, personality ng team nila. Ina-identify pa nila yung strengths and weaknesses nila. And uh, throughout this competition, for sure, um, uh, we are hoping that they actually get a, at least a win. Yeah. And that's really also the luxury of a new team. They get to experiment. Oh, that's a great play. Everything looking uh, pretty good for Richmark at this point. Castell there with a quick, just dumping that ball. The quick attacks have been effective for the elite spikers. And if something is working, yeah. you have to keep on going to that type of play. Richmark only down by two. Combination attack. Combination well done play. for Change Navy, table. unchallenged by Richmark. Philippine Navy starting to go to their combination plays. There are multiple combination plays available on their side. Even in the backcourt, uh, you can expect a lot of pipe attacks. Good first ball. And we're seeing good passes coming from Richmark, allowing them to execute these plays. Colonel Ipula and will score once again, this time off the right pin. Middle blocker of Navy who was uh, too late. That was Peter Kiel on the close-up. I think there's going to be a violation called against somebody on the Richmark side at the net. They were able to read the drop ball of uh, Toto de la Vega, but somebody scraped the net. It was Ipulan, so a free point will go to the Philippine Navy. For the sea lions. Pass the net. And kill will set. Me pito na naman. Double. A double contact Kiel. violation with Kiel playing Ten, setter. Two, That's a free point for Richmark, and they are keeping in step with Navy here. They should be happy with their performance at first set so far. It's just a two point lead for the Philippine Navy. Mm -hmm. So, in the men's game, kaya kaya talaga. Kaya Mahabol. And right now, they just need to keep up their defense. But with the likes of Greg Dolor attacking that way, yeah. <laughs> you have your job cut out for you. <laughs> yeah, sabi mo nga, the multiple uh, offensive plays they have in their arsenal. We're seeing many different variations. Outside set. And again, that blocking. Dolor and Sapita. Coming together. The Sea Lions are just milking their production mm. dyan sa harapan ng net. They're tallying a lot of kill blocks against uh, the elite spikers. And they're starting to pull away here. That's going to be over. Oh, Chow still won by Navy there. Pudadera will get that point. A little bit of confusion between the two skippers of Richmark Sports. Two of them actually went up for that uh, joust. And we have a timeout called right before the technical timeout.
Terbuhi nanti, mesti tahu biar terbawa tahu. Dan terus terus terus. Jangan bawa lagi, jangan bawa lagi. 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 The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20 only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Richmark not looking too bad, really. I mean, they have uh, gotten a couple of offensive plays working for them. Nice passes, nice uh, reception that we're seeing. But the offense and the blocking of Navy is just on autopilot. And again, net violation called against Sapita this time. And that is going to be a point for Richmark. Oh, and a challenge. So Navy doesn't think there was a net touch violation there. Early challenge, same rules here. Me, me, meron na rin tayo ng fair green card. Yeah. yeah, dito in Spiker's Turf, which is interesting. Players were saying that it was the ball ah. na tumama dun sa tape ng net. Yeah, Coach George Pascal looks like he's uh, pretty confident about his challenge. And we'll see if this will go the way of Navy. And just to refresh the memories of our viewers, so we have two uh, different um, groupings, no? And the top four will go into the semifinals out of the 11. Yeah. Or do we have 11 teams here. So it's tight, it's quick. Every single game counts. Mm, is that contact? I mean, clearly the ball hit, but so did Sapida, I think. Ang tanong is, baka namatay na yung bola bago pa yun. Well, either way, there was a net cut. So that will be an unsuccessful challenge for Coach George Pascal. Double sub now for Richmark Sports. Mansilungan and uh, Palen will check in. Mansilungan was part of the Philippine Army in the offseason. But now he is with the elite Spikers. Mansilungan also was uh, not in the roster in that last game that they played against Criss Cross. Chance again here for Navy. Back row attack. Jacob there. And that gets us our second technical timeout with Navy leading by five. Pizza or pasta? Pizza. Practice or rest? Practice. Pancake or puto? Puto. Cakes or chocolates? Chocolates. High cut or low cut shoes? High cut shoes. Pagagalitan ka ni coach o hindi ka papansin ni coach? Papagalitan ni coach. Gusto ko yung practice or rest practice talaga yung sagot eh. Intense to si Dolor. And that's commitment for Greg Dolor. But I love these uh, segments and these um, features we have allowing us to get to know the players better. That is why we continue to invite uh, our volleyball fans to come on over to the venue to support the Spikers Turf Open Conference. We have a lot of uh, upcoming exciting games. 
I believe na yung uh, pinaka inanticipate ng lahat will be the clash of Signal and Criss Cross. Ah. Uh, that will be on April 14. I mean, they're uh, the, the main uh, headline, of course, the two teams who are yet undefeated, but a lot of subplots there, a lot of um, other things. Uh, the drama, perhaps, behind uh, the, the uh, you know, switching of teams, the creation of new ones, all of that coming into play, and that head-to-head um, -head will come soon for you. And, of course, after their first head-to-head, Makikita -head, Ulian Malamang in the next round. Four-point lead still here for Navy. Jacob going up. And he's just hitting from everywhere. We saw that big uh, kill coming from back row. And now Jacob from the left pin. There will be a challenge on the side of the elite spikers. Mm. They pushed uh, the buzzer, but... I think they will retract that challenge. Call will stick. Point will go to the Sea Lions. Outside set. Oh, we wanted to see the down the line, but it looks like that one was out. But there was a check ball on Toto de la Vega. Oh, so that's a point for Richmond. And no challenge there from Navy. That's it for the double substitution of uh, the elite spikers. Babalik na si Dacles and Rosette. As they try to catch up here in set number one. Down by four. 14 serving, 18 serving, RG Dacles. Oh, good serve. Yeah, with a killer there. And barely any resistance. Kill just uh, all alone there. Hindi na umabot yung block ng Richmark. PGJC Navy uh, is just playing with a lot of efficiency right now in their game against Team Maverick. They were able to convert 41% of their attacks. Mm. Uh, this time there will be a sure challenge on the side of the elite spikers. You know, we talk a lot about attack efficiency, blocking efficiency from your experience, Neil. What is a good uh, percentage? Kailan happy si coach pag nasa close to 50% is really good, right? I feel like 40 is already uh -huh. a good mark, but yeah. if uh, you prefer at that 50, 60 percent mm. efficiency rate, for sure, <laughs> masaya na Masayang masaya. Si coach. <laughs> That's what teams are going for. And uh, there's also the team efficiency and also the individual yeah. performances. So you put that together. I will unblock that. So that one is clean. That did not work for Richmark. That's 19 points now for Navy, or 20 after that unsuccessful challenge. And Jacob and company just uh, pretty much coasting in this first set. Let's see if there is some resistance that Richmark will put up towards the latter part here. Lucky break there with a the service error. And we have more players coming in. Balisi, number seven, coming in. He's going to be coming in at the serve. They bring in the serve specialists at this point. That's a floater handled well by Navy Libero. And again, it's so hard to read those combination attacks. It's easier to find spacing also for the Philippine Navy because the approach of middle blockers, they really sell it. That's why na did delay yung blocking pattern ng Richmark Sports. And when you have combination plays from the middle, the middle blockers of the opposing team will try to go for that half jump first mm -hmm. para makahabol pa sila on the second on the, jump. Yeah. In other words, nakakapagod kalaban ng Navy. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi talun ka ng talun. 
And then in terms of height advantage, I would say na mas nasa side rin ng Philippine Navy yun. Yeah. A lot of advantages to Philippine Navy, including the time spent playing together. I mean, they, the cohesiveness already there, the connection already there. And uh, Richmar can only hope for these miscues, these uh, lapses that happen here and there and capitalize on them. They have to force uh, the Sea Lions to commit unforced errors. Yeah. Good serve. Kalinking handling that one. And a quick, good read there by the blockers of Richmark. Chance here. And, oh, wow. Good effort there by Richmark Chinaga talaga. Guadalupe with another quick attack. He has been effective off that A quick. It was only a single block coverage for BGJC Navy. So Dakles uh, needs to recognize na nahuhuli yung blockers ng Navy pag binibigyan niya ng mga quick attacks, yung mga spikers niya. This time it's Coach George with a double the substitution. Villanueva and Hairami will check in for De La Vega and uh, their setter. So Pudadera now is getting uh, talking to by George Basqua. Sometimes you need that just to take them out, give them a little perspective from the sidelines to see what the movement is like. And um, that is what uh, Setter Pudadera is getting right now. And Rami there with the set and Richmark is still alive and they refuse to quit. That will be the first block point of Richmark Sports. Basang basa nila, nakita nila. Greg Dolor was already squaring up for that combination play in the middle. They let the middle blocker go. Uh, that was a risk, yeah. but it paid off. Yeah. Kasi binigay nga kay Greg Dolor. And unfortunately, the second time it happened for Rosette, a really good offensive play, the offensive block there negated by that service error. That is the fifth service error of Richmark Sports here in the opening set. Uh, two from Rosette. Although we credit him for one service ace. Team captain Greg Dolor also with a serve into the net. That's a point for Richmark. But still, set point for Navy. Pressure serves for the boys in purple. Elite spikers here with their life on the line, at least for this first set. Safe serve there. The Lincoln just handling that one. And uh, just a uh, textbook. Yeah. Good play. It always starts with that perfect first pass from Kalinking, who we know is a very able libero. And Jacob just did not waste it. He will win uh, that first set for BGJC Navy 25-19 is how that, score, that game went. We'll talk more about it after the break. Twenty-five ninety. Twenty-five ninety was the score of that first set. We saw Richmark put up a good fight. 
But uh, Navy, their plays, their combination attacks, masyado lang pulido, masyado maganda, talagang um, well-established uh, system already for Navy, and that's what we saw. And it was really a simple type of uh, game mm. for the Philippine Navy. Yes, may mga combination plays, but nothing uh, really out of the box. These are the same combination plays that they've used in the past. Mm. And they, mukhang hindi naman nila kailangan talaga mag-isip pa ng kakaibang combination play because uh, the simple plays work for them. Mm -hmm. That last point, it was just a simple set to the left side. Yeah. Proper execution for the wards of coach uh, George Pasqua. That's why they emerged on top in that opening set. They had more attacks. Yeah. They definitely had more blocks. Both teams committed seven unforced errors. Mm -hmm. Mostly at the serve there. And we knew that it was going to be a block party for Navy as we saw in the last game that they played against Maverick. So, uh, hindi naman tayo binigo ng Navy in that sense. And I know, we, we know that Rich Mark was ready for that. Uh, but it's one thing to uh, anticipate what your opponents have to dish out. And it's another to actually be able to uh, counter them and to challenge them. Because the really, the, um, the, tech, the technique and the technical know-how of Navy really up there and Richmar can only emerge a better team after playing with these high-caliber teams, talaga. The elite spikers uh, definitely need to focus on their serves more. Mm. If you're up against strong attacking teams, kailangan uh, mahirapan mag-set up yung setter nila so that you can actually set up your own defense pattern. Ah. And pag out of system play, at least alam nung Richmark Sports na it's either puputa sa left or right pin. Si Podadera. Well, iwasan din lang nila si Jacqueline King who mm -hmm. is just an excellent libero. <laughs> so that's probably one of the things you want to do. Well, what is a good target ba, when you are serving? You want to go for, I, I guess there's a school of thought where you want to go for the uh, the best hitter, take them out of the uh, the play. Sometimes you want to go for the setter, take them out of the play. What is the common uh, thinking there? Those are some of the possibilities, uh -huh. but it really depends on the scouting of the team. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, they would look back at the previous games of their opponent. So they think nila kung sino ba yung pinakamaraming faults. And that will be their main target. Yes. If uh, not the weakest link, uh -huh. they would target the outside hitters. Because okay. karamihan naman talaga ng sets na pupunta sa kanila. <laughs> Pero siguro the standing uh, instructions is iwasan din yung libero hanggang yeah. kaya. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Jack Kalinking used to be part of the national team. Yeah. So he is one of the better liberos here in the league. Navy starts off no, no. here with the first point but uh, quickly countered by Richmark. And again, it's simple plays, like you said, no frills. They just work. But they're just uh, getting the timing right. And dun mo may kita yung importance ng role ng middle blocker. They really are decoys. They have to be the best uh, versions of decoys mm. para ma open up nila yung angles for the wing spikers. Well, they're not only decoys, they're excellent offensive players too. Another uh, block point there by Peter Kiel, all alone. Three, one. The violation. Yeah, that will be double contact double called contact. on Dakles. Four. It's easier for taller one. setters to save these tight passes, mm -hmm. but if you're on the undersized uh, part of the spectrum, mas gusto talaga nila na may distancia so uh, that uh, they can still decide or think kung saan sila pwedeng pumunta. Richmark given ample chances here to actually execute their plays and you know they like you said you want to force errors on the side of Navy just to ruffle their feathers a little bit. 
they did the, that in that last rally. Mm -hmm. They were able to uh, deliver a heavy serve. And do naman nagsisimula yun if you use your service as an attack. Mm. Good defense from Navy. Another chance here for Richmark. Guadalupe. And that was a quick. He looked like it was just going to be a decoy, but he ev eventually went for the kill. And that was an unsuspecting uh, Navy team. What about that set, that ah. set to that be quick play? Not an easy mm. thing to do. Rosette blocked there. Oh, That's Navy. tough. Still no coverage on the side of the elite spikers. Their coach already pointed this out. It doesn't matter if we get blocked because they're doing their Navy yung trabaho nila. But we also have to do our job in the backcourt by supporting the outside hitters every time they get checked. And a chance here again for Rich Mark with that service error from Navy. He's Difficult serves. They will sail out and same story for Richmark. That one going right into the net. They've already had their fair share of unforced errors on the service line in set number one. So they do know na kailangan nilang bawasin yun if they want to get a set against the Sea Lions. Chance here for Navy again to set up. Better coverage on the block there for Richmark. But the Dera pushing it out. That was a difficult set all the way from end to end. And effort not wasted. Navy will score on that cross court hit. 8 4, the count. Navy up by 4. Turf Open Conference. Chiki and Neil, I find it quite curious that the Navy starting setter Puts Podadera is actually one of the most recent additions to the team and is one of the three civilian players. Actually, January this year lang nila nakasama si Puds as he will be graduating college pa lang this June. I mean, how does he put that the struggle is there, especially as a setter, kinakapanya pa ang attackers niya, not to mention adapting the military attitude of the team at yung system ni Coach George. But for Puds, the key is just to soldier on. Chiki and Neil. Soldier up is definitely what he's doing, but they are really able to uh, play within the system. Hindi niya, hindi siya iba sa Navy sa pagtingin. Ano? It looks like he has been there a long time. So, Doreen, you're right. It's a surprise for many to hear that he is a civilian just coming in. Uh, one of the newer members of PGJC Navy. Oh, no. Muulan pa rin ang service errors. And, you know, what do you do with that? These are the chances where they, their, their offense is unchallenged. Only the net is in their way. When you're uh, hitting that jump serve, yung toss napaka importante mm. because it all starts there. If you don't put up a proper toss, ang hirap talagang habuli ng bola. But they will get a point <laughs> back courtesy of that service error of Craig Delor. It happens on both sides. And we've seen that. We've seen players put up the toss, not like it, let it bounce, do it again. There's um, no limit to doing that. Back row attack. That one is inside. Zone six going deep there. Mabawi naman ang Navy sa kanilang opensa. Yun naman yung maganda sa isang Greg Dolor. Even if he commits a mistake, even if he gives away one or two points to their opponent, ang bilis ng recovery mm -hmm. and he intentionally asks for the ball after an error. And the combination coming this time from Richmark Rosales. 
Well, we highlighted him in the beginning of our coverage. We didn't see him in the opening set, but... Uh... That's right, he didn't start today, but... Uh... He had seven points the last time they played. We know that he is a capable scoring machine. Aside from the serving, Richmark also uh, has to tighten their net defense. That's also one of the ways to help your backcourt defense na pumwesto ng tama. That will be another service error. Yeah. That's the fourth service error of the Philippine Navy here in set number two. And we're only coming to the middle of this set. So we're going to see that in the stats later on also. Really, the unforced errors. Lucky for Rich Mark. Pinapantayan lang ng Navy yung kanilang mga errors at the serve. This is a rotation error. We... Hear a whistle. Was it the wrong person to serve? There was a rotation error rotation called on uh, the elite spikers that will force the hand of their head coach to call a timeout. Body language is just different on the side of Richmark Sports. Though so that was a good reminder from the players on the floor. Now we have to enjoy because this is a sport that we all love. This is a sport that dapat ine enjoy. That's right. And uh, they did come into the court in the first set with that kind of attitude. They just need to get it back. Meantime, get seven-day premium access to NBA, PBA, UAAP, BVL, and other leagues and exclusive shows when you download Filipinas Live app. Register now for free. Another quick. Oh. I think even before the yeah. attack error, there was already a net violation called against Peter Kiel. Yeah. Another three point for Richmark Sports. A while ago, Coach RJ Francisco was really unhappy with that rotation error. Because sometimes, pag nawawala na sa focus yung mga players, even yung mga small details kagaya ng rotation na kakaligtaan. And you know what? Navy doesn't need help in their campaign here. They're doing well in their offense. So really a need for Richmark to be more careful. Ah, oh, too easy for Navy. And I think that's a hard lesson for Rosette where I don't think we're going to see him try that again. He was far from the net. So that wasn't really the best idea mm. because the blockers of the Philippine Navy also have their hang time. So, <laughs> maabot at maabot nila yon. Yeah, that's a better idea. We've seen the quick, the quick sets working better for Richmark Guadalupe there, who was the second best scorer in that last game against uh, Maverick or Chris Cross rather. Guadalupe with six points in that game. Currently, the top scorer of Richmark Sports is Ipulan with six, built on five attacks and one block. As for the Sea Lions, they have Greg Tulor as their top scorer with seven points, five attacks, and two blocks. That will be another error on the side of Richmark Sports. Five-point lead for Navy. That's a good first ball. Daklas did not waste it, let's see, but the blocking of Navy just there. Good coverage, though, for Richmark. Ball still alive. Put it there up, pushing it out to the left, and the offensive block. Mark Martin of Richmark feeling that. They need more of that. That was a solid block. Great read by Rosette. Oh, it's Rosette who eventually got it. There's a double block put up by Martin and Rosette. 
nine out one billion Nueva in 11 serving 15 serving girl Rosette oh like adjust the man Navy it's the same play from the left pin. Second technical timeout. Yeah, it's a good idea to go cross court. That corner pocket. That's a point there. Million Webb and we have a technical timeout with Navy leading by five. Arena Plus, Astinza Sports. 16-11, Navy still leading here in the second set. They took the first set, 25-19. And uh, we said at the top of the coverage that this is going to be an uphill battle, really, for Richmark still looking for their first W here in uh, this conference. But they've had some bright spots, some uh, good plays, some good combination attacks that we've seen. It's just really the errors at the serve. Yeah. And uh, kanina, when they were able to deliver a good serve, they convert sila mm. of a regalo. But uh, every time they commit that error, wala ka na rin talagang laban because that would be an instant point for your opponent. And now the blocking has continued to click for the Philippine Navy. 17 serving 11. Navy grading separation here. Finding it a little bit easier, the second set, to keep the lead. And they keep on pouring on the blocks. Is everything working at the net here for Navy? Lang lumalampas for Richmark Sports. Double block has always been there to guard the attackers of the elite spikers. Oh, now the service ace is coming from the side of the Sea Lions. Timeout, Ridgewood Sports. We have a timeout. Well, oddly enough, the Richmark Sport 3B Elite Spikers are actually the fourth best serving team in the league with Navy in sixth place. So they've already had nine aces so far in this tournament. So they actually can uh, yeah. maybe be sila at the serve. They just have to really bring that up, bring that out. Another block coming from the Sea Lions. Tight. Oh, and Billy Nueva too smart for the situation. Just really knowing what to do. Billy Nueva getting maximum elevation as he just saved that uh, ball from hitting the antenna. Halos palabas na rin kahit kaliwete siya talagang he can contort his body and still save the ball. Nine point lead for Navy. De Guzman is blocked. Good cover there by Libero. It's a free ball. Douglas giving it to Rosette from back row. I don't think he knew where he was, so a little too soft Double there. Contact. Nothing working on the side of uh, Richmark Sports. They're really trying their best to attack the defense of the Sea Lions, but yeah. it's 
And you know, it's also a good chance to highlight after seeing that slow-mo of Rosetta. Yung mga ganon, yung mga off-speed. Doon mo makikita na hindi kasi necessarily madali eh. Mm-hmm. Yung you have to have just the, the right, right amount, amount of, of push. Yeah. yeah. And the timing of it. And Rosetta will try again. This time going all power. Good defense coming from Navy. And still... Navy just really Navy. able to save the ball and allow for plays to uh, to be placed there. And you need to see the opportunity. The trans the transition is quick and they're able to counter attack. Which Mark has to note that uh, Villanueva is a southpaw. Mm. So there is a higher chance na mag down the line siya compared to cross court. Well, she is uh, 3 for 3, 100% efficiency wow. for Villanueva. And he has also garnered oh, two blocks out of the three attempts. So, yun yung quality minutes yeah. na second stringers na gustong makita ni Coach George Pasqua. And George Pasqua just flexing the strength and the depth of his bench. And this is something that will bode well for Davy as we go further into the season. Macro attack! Ooh, and Hirami so also doing well there now. Rich Mark is also struggling in their passing. Right, they've been forced to go to one type of attack for most of the time in the last few sequences. So the setter, Hirami, also getting quality minutes here, able to produce some key plays. Ah, and the service Zero. error still. There's a lot of uh, power there behind the serve. Just too low for Greg Delore. But it is set point and a lot to give for Navy. And just uh, easy way out for PJ. G.J. and Navy. B.G.J.C. Navy. Sea Lions winning the second set 25-12. And leading the match two sets to none. We'll be back. Drubbing of the Richmark Sports by the Navy Sea Lions. And looking at the highlights here, well, what we're not going to see are the errors, really, that is the bigger story in the second set. But a lot of good plays and uh, a lot of uh, good offense also coming from Navy. Yeah, there. it was a lopsided set number two compared to the first frame. Uh, Richmark Sports had... A lot of potential in that first frame aside from the force that they've committed. Talagang sinusubukan nilang sabayan yung firepower ng uh, Philippine Navy. But in the second set, it was just too much. The Richmark Sports Elite Spikers struggled in different departments, not just in serving. Pero kumunik na rin dun sa passing and even their attack efficiency was uh, a bit low. That's why they only registered four attacks and uh, two blocks compared to the 10 and 5 yeah. of the Sea Lions. 
So all told, I think we're already at the 10-point mark with blocks for uh, as a team for Navy, which is uh, equal to what they put out in uh, the last match that they played against Maverick. And really, if there's anything they need to correct, they have to start with the serves. We keep saying it, but that has been uh, the really the downfall of Richmark in that second set. Let's see if they can pick things up here. Richmark still looking uh, to add to the one set win that uh, they were able to get from uh, in that game that they played against the Air Force, the first game of the Spikers Turf uh, Season 7 Open Conference. And again, just to review, we have nine teams in uh, this uh, year's Open Conference. Just one pool, not two, as compared to before. And it is a single round robin. So, uh, relatively short and sweet conference. And the top four will advance. So far, Signal HD and Criss Cross with uh, out any losses yet. And I think the Navigators also with a clean record so far. Serves and then comes the Navy with Serving only one Marvin loss. Hayami. And that makes your top four so far. But things can still change. We have a few more games to go. Better start for Richmark Sports. Seen yung type of attack na gusto natin makita. Now they're displaying scrappy defense in the backcourt as they get the first point of set number three. Now if they can just keep this up. We also saw a strong start for Richmark in the first couple of sets. So it's just about sustaining this uh, level of play. To Richmark Sports. And that will be a catch and throw violation, a lifting violation. Medyo tumagal sa kamay ni Hayrami before he let go of that ball. Hayrami, of course, is the second string setter who is getting some minutes here. He was brought in. Same play. That one's outside. It was a better set. Yeah. <laughs> Is now a three point run for Richmark Sports. There's a challenge for the field. We need to the last play for Bowling Bowling. And uh, this challenge is a must win third Williams. set for Richmark. And we have a challenge coming from Navy. Talking about what is in store for all of you here at the Spikers Turf uh, Season 7 Open Conference. Chris Cross, of course, up there in the standings, is a first time team. Mga bagong luma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like you mentioned, Neil, we are excited about uh, the showdown between Chris Cross and Signal, which I think will happen more than once in this um, tournament. That's clearly out with a lot of space to give. The challenge is unsuccessful. Well, he will lose one challenge yes. opportunity. They're up by two sets, naman. So I think that wouldn't hurt the uh, the team. Oh, single block, but ball still good. No time to rejoice yet. And that one is a check ball. No check. That's going to be called clean outside. De Guzman seems to think there that there is a check ball and the challenge card will go up. Why not? It was a miss hit from uh, the outside hitter of the Elite Spikers. Let's see if Tumama nga talaga. It looked like it had so much backspin. Kya mahirap i determine if backspin lang ba talaga yon or. Nagspin yung bola kasi tumama dun sa fingertips ng blockers ng Navy. Looking at the uh, scoring tally here for the league so far, Dovan de la Vega of Navy is currently the fourth best scorer in the league. And he has been rather quiet today. Not really to making too much noise. Richmond Sports loses the challenge and will have one for the remainder of the He is currently in the bench. Uh huh. And uh, mukhang Over bibigyan here. talaga ng playing time ni Coach George Pasqua yung second stringers. Now, you need your full roster as uh, you go along this competition. Yun na din yung isa sa mga labanan ngayon, yung 
kept the them bench. Yeah. Peter killed there with a solo block. Getting maybe their first point. Took a while for them to get on the scoreboard in this third set. Getting scorers. Still the same people. Ipulan with seven. Dolor with nine. Good try there by Rosette, but too much spin on that one. Dolor with that point. And again, missing uh, blockers. Really, barely any challengers there. And this time, Richmark showing off their offense, which, like we mentioned, Neil Mero naman. Yeah. I think that's the first time that Richmark Sports went to, uh, for a combination play. Three-man block was there, but... A little late. <laughs> uh, they were a bit late. There will be a stepping violation called on the server of Richmark. Oh, wow. So uh, that will be considered an unforced error. Yeah. Yun yung mga napakadaling iwasan. And we can yes. see, of course, Coach uh, really upset about that. These are the things that really don't have to happen. It's a free point for Navy. And De Guzman making up for that real quickly. Quick point for Richmark. Loose ball for Richmark Sports. But Clarence De Guzman made sure that they continue their run here in the third frame. And again, Dolor doing damage. Dolor Just an easy peasy. And we can see Dolor, he, his uh, court sense also. He knows where he is on the court. He knows just how much power and uh, spin to put on his ball. The three-man block, uh, regardless there. Coming from Richmark, just getting past it. Yun din yung maganda kay Greg Dolor. He always goes for it 100% wow. of the time. Mapa, uh, good set, excellent set, or kahit na galing sa broken play. 100% commitment on the hit. That's two service errors uh, already from Dolor. Maybe more. I just remember one big one also. In set number C, there have been a lot of errors at the serve coming from both ends of the court. Tight set. Mm. Liok tried to get it off the hands of the blockers. And look at that, Richmark getting the eight points first with a four point advantage against Navy. We'll be back. Serving Rainier Matsilungan. Chiki really talked about Kai Rosales at the top of the coverage. Well, Alam nyo, their last game was actually Kai's very first time playing in the Spiker Surf Court. And being here in the league means so much to Kai. Kwento niya, he was just seven years old when his parents separated. And so at 15, he was already living on his own. Volleyball ang naging daan niya para mapag-aral ang sarili niya to have additional income and now the means for him to build a good life for himself. Chicken Hill. Nine, serving four. That's really great to know. We love hearing about uh, the stories behind these players. Thanks so much, Doreen. So I bag you. Meantime, Rich Park enjoying a five-point lead here in this must-win third set. And 
and the Leoc seems to want to put an end to that run. Even elect the Reni coach George Pasqua, si Toto de la Vega, and their center. Pudadera. De La Vega actually started, no, but was uh, taken out, replaced. So let's see if the fourth best score in the lead will help with the catch up here for Navy and Dolor, who has really been delivering the goods for the Sea Lions, is uh, able to score again from back row. The lead spikers need to sprint to the 25 point mark ah. because that is not a safe lead. Especially with uh, Greg Dolor on the offensive end of things for the Sea Lions. But these errors are just too much right now for the Philippine Navy. That's error number six. Ten serving six with curl or seven serving. Check ball and De La Vega right away. Scoring off of that last attack. De La Vega also up there in the spiking category. Third in the league so far with 43 spikes. 48.86% efficiency. Of the Pulan continuing his stellar performance here in this matchup. Still a four-point lead. That is a good lead, though, for the Elite Spikers. Pudadera giving it the back row. And Leo was just not going to waste that gift. That was a perfect set for Leo. <laughs> Saktong Saktong for that put away. I mean, I'm sure it feels good to get a kill all the time, but yung mga regalong ganon, when they come unexpected, ang sarap si Guguro, no? Good read there by Navy. But they there to kill. Another chance here for Navy to go. Back row attack. De La Vega. Doug. Oh, we have a rally. Kill again. Bumabalik. Kaling King saving that one. De La Vega is dug by Rosette. Oi! That was an exciting rally, the longest one we've seen here, Neil. Dakles wanted to change things up by setting that B quick play. Pero masyadong mataas, medyo nalunod na si Bunch Castell. But you gotta give credit to Castell, who really put up a fight and kept returning the ball. Especially dun sa net defense, he got a lot of mm. uh, rebounds against the attackers of Rich, uh, the Philippine Navy, rather. And that quick play again, still alive for Richmark. Chance here for Navy to counter. And that is going to be off the block. And Peter Kiel just unrelenting at the front. They are breathing down the neck of the elite spikers. Down by a single point. Humabul na. We saw a lead as big as five points for Richmark in this third set. And they're fighting hard. They know they need to get past this third set to be able to win, to even win a set against the Navy is a big enough feat. And I'm sure they're targeting that and perhaps to go on to a fourth or fifth. Kaiser Rosales will come back in to replace Clarence de Guzman. And that over ball, reaching overreaching violation will be called against Richmark. 
There's no challenge for that uh, specific mm. call. There are only six challengeable calls. So pag wala yan sa options, judgment call na yan ang first yeah. referee as always. What did you think of that call, Neil? It looks like a correct call naman mm. from the first referee based on uh, my point mm. of view. It's too low. We are now tied at 12 apiece. Yeah. We are tied at 12. Oh, Salas there, a little rattled by uh, that last call. They have to shake that off. And remember that they're in the lead again with that kill. So Richmark doing much, much better and looking really good in the third set. What changed, Neil? Well, they're attacking much better compared to set number two. Again, they only scored four points oh, off the attacking category. And kanina pa nga, we saw a combination play from the middle. It was effective for the elite spikers. And right now, they are trying to maintain that lead. Pero atras abante rin ang yeah. Philippine Navy. Oh! Yes, huge offense coming from Navy. Faster than the speed of light. Oh, <laughs> and look at the elevation there for Dolor. He just really gets up there. And perfect contact with the ball. Pero ang Navy pa rin na in this third set. And I think really also just the attitude and the mindset of Richmark is, uh, makes a world of difference when you come in with hopes, optimistic, and enjoying yourself, which is uh, the kind of body language we're seeing from the uh, elite. Uh, down the line there by Rosette, getting them a two-point lead. As you get close to the second technical timeout, Richmark uh, really uh, playing their best set so far. That's a tough one. Good defense there by Eugenio. Dolor setting up De La Vega on the other side. And that one was already at the net. Nothing that Rosetti can do with that one. There are high expectations uh, para kay Rosette. He, I believe he used to be a C-Lion as well. Mm. So, medyo familiar na siya sa sistema ng Philippine Navy. But aside from the familiarity of the system of the C-Lions, yung performance mismo niya, we are actually expecting big numbers from uh, Rosette because based nga sa sinabi ng head coach, he is actually the best option pagdating sa atake. He also missed the action from the last game, so that, that can mean two things, that he is rested, well rested, or that he is needing a little more time to warm up, but... Lucky for Navy, the errors are mostly coming from the Navy side. Lucky for Richmark, rather. And they will maintain the lead in the second technical timeout. Mansiluman. Awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. Richmark enjoying the lead in this third set. They only gave it up, or they haven't. I think they've been leading all the way. So, ang Navy ang nagahabol dito sa ating third set. 
This is a strong guest rotation for the Philippine Navy. They have three attackers in the front row, but yung service nila parang bumalik tayo yung situation because uh, right now. They have more service errors in total compared to Richmark Sports. They have already registered 12 in that department compared to the 11 of the elite spikers. And that one is outside also. Now errors coming even from the attacks. And Leok sending that one out, giving Richmark point number 18. And Jacob, the... Uh, Starter now back in the game to take the place of Leo. Pinalik na ni Coach George Pasco lahat ng starters yeah. niya because he doesn't want to give confidence rin dito sa Richmark Sports. But for the elite spikers, oh. you still have a two-point lead. Uh, baga, now is the time to be relentless in attacking the defense yeah. of the Philippine Navy. That serve, uh, that's uh, already 10 unforced errors for the Philippine Navy here in set number three. Double digits oh, wow. compared to the five of the elite spikers. But we saw that bomb coming from De La Vega. And now they have the serve back. And a chance here again to score. Jacob will go coming off the bench. And the blocking. Yeah. Double, Double contact. contact now. Double contact. Uh, they're saying si Palin hit it uh, twice. No? Parang magkahiwalay kasi yung kamay niya. Medyo matalas ang mga mata ng ating mga officials. First referee was saying that I saw it. <laughs> it was in front of me. Is it one of those things you're gonna chase a double contact challenge? No, a no. No con double contact <laughs> challenge. So you're just gonna have to take the word of our first referee. Big serve there from Navy. Another chance for Navy to even things out here. De La Vega, and that one is called outside. And Rich Mark keeps the lead. I mean, it's so hard to protect the lead against a very aggressive Navy who clearly wants to just quit at three. They want to finish at three. They want the sweep, which is going to help their campaign in the long run because kaya ay clean ang ating tournament. So even the sets bilang yan, not just the wins. And you also want to avoid tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. I mean, possible tiebreakers by winning in three or four sets. Kasi bumababa yung points pag five sets yung panalo. Ah, that's right. And so far, like you mentioned at the top of our coverage, Navy is the only one with a uh, one loss, two wins so far. So they are all alone in fourth place. The top three have yet to uh, lose games. So clean records for Signal, Crisscross, and the Navigators. So really important win here for PGJC, Navy Sea Lions. And we're looking for the decision here and uh, the video challenge. And look at the coaching staff here. <laughs> Coach George, na sa camera ka usap yung camera man natin. We're still waiting for the official decision of our technical table. They are currently reviewing the block touch challenge. We have to get it right because we're already at the crucial junction of this game. Looks like the pinky yeah. moved, so there will be a block touch challenge. That will be successful for wow. Coach George Pasqua. He seemed very confident about that. And now we're even at 18 apiece. And the lead is gone and the pressure is mounting on the side of the <laughs> you spikers. Said it. You said it. That's a big serve, but good first ball. Rosette, I think that's the pressure being felt by Rosette and company. Now the errors are unforced and coming from the attacks. And the tables have turned. Navy now in the lead, and Richmark will call for time. Okay, 
Okay? Ganyan? Isa lang yan. Ha? Isa ang trabaho ulit. Ha? Tapos sa kabuntos, kada buntos, binigyan ng konting angas. Ha? Go, go, go! 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 RJ pointing out that this is a good rotation that they have that the Richmark can take advantage of. He's also looking for a bit of swag from ah. the players. In a way, confidence building He's din yung uh, certain RG level of swagger na pinapakita yeah. on the floor. They are down by a single point most of the time in this set. They were in the driver's seat. Pero pag na habol na talaga, babaliktad yung pressure. And very rare that Galing King is not able to keep the ball in play, but that is a break for Richmark. They get the ball back, a chance here to score on the serve. These are... Here comes Richmark on the offense. Galing King. Chance ball again. Mm. Meet Spikers and Mepito na naman. There was a Ipulan. net violation called on Ipulan and he's been doing so well being the top scorer of Richmark Sports. There, very clear. He was really at the net right in front of our first referee size. Ipulan who scored eight points against Chris Cross. Halong gigil na yun eh. <laughs> And that one, much better. I guess pressure uh, manifests itself in many different ways. Kuminsan gigil, kuminsan service error, kulang. But uh, that's something that Richmark has to shake off at this point. Coach RJ wants a sure serve as he fields in Balisi to replace Bonch Castell. Game captain for Richmark Sports number 5, Acer. 20 all. It was Richmark leading for most of this third set. A crucial set number 3 for the Elite Spikers. Nice try, but no good. That is another point for Navy. One more time on that last attack by De La Vega from back row. Time for the veteran to step up and uh, show uh, the finishing kick for the Sea Lions. Here's a chance. And that worked. Tricky, tricky play there for Putadera. First one that we've seen. Uh, Putadera, as we uh, learned today, is due to the team. Julie just. Uh, Getting ready to graduate and already showing a lot of maturity. 22, serve 20. Now a two-point lead. Sets were a little bit tight on the end of Richmark Sports, so medyo nahirapan din or na-intimidate din yung attackers ng Elite Spikers. And now the block party has come alive for the Philippine Navy. And we know that uh, this is one of their strengths, really. And what do you do when the block is always in your face? You have to find a different angle. You yeah. have to go for that swipe, that checkout. But for now, let's listen to this timeout of the Elite Spikers. Guys, I mean, they were compelled to answer that same question that we posed, really. What do you do with the blockers always in your face? Sabi ni Castel, patalinuhan na lang talaga. You just have to outsmart the blockers. Discarte talaga, discarte talaga yung importante. Yeah. And uh, itong si Sapida, he has come up with five points already and all of the points of Sapida came off the kill block. So that's really impressive. He's just showing that that is his main goal as a middle blocker. Kahit di siya makakuha masyado ng uh, attack points, tutulong siya sa net defense. There will be a challenge called by Coach George Pasqua. 
Coach George really meaning business here, huh? and calling the challenges and trying to just finish it off in this third set. You know, the quandary, out to the quandary here of Rich Marks, Kiel is the fifth best blocker, Dolor number eight in the best blocker countdown. So, talagang yan ang strength ng Navy, who as a team rank third in blocking. Criss Cross is number one, Navigator is number two, and Signal number four. Coach George is claiming that uh, hindi natamaan ng blockers yung palo ng elite spikers. It seemed like a low contact hit from Richard Mark Sports, but again, yung block touch challenges sobrang tricky niyan kasi more often than not nata touch talaga kahit na tapless lang mm. and somehow it's much tougher in the men's league because the balls is yeah. boom eh, the that's the <laughs> speed of the ball ang bilis bilis eh and let's see let's see if there is indeed a block touch our technical team is getting ready to show us the video officially. Sinisilip namin dito, hindi ko rin It's very hard to tell. Here we go, Neil. What do you think? Yes, there was a block touch. Pumasok muna sa side uh, ng Philippine Navy. So since they challenge in the middle of the rally, that point will immediately go to Richmark Sports. Ah. That's an automatic point when you challenge uh, mid rally. Mid -ra uh, if you stop the play and you're unsuccessful, that was a risk that Coach George took. And that is a break for Richmark. I mean, they're down by two in this crucial stage of the game. Navy already with 23. They had as big as a five point lead earlier in this set. Talking about Richmark. They're looking to score their second set win ever in this league. And really to just get one from Navy would be such a big accomplishment for Richmore, Richmark. Philippine Navy just two points away from getting another win here in the Spikers third. Make that uh, one point away to bag win number three. The Lord is going cross court and deep there, and we saw the touch. And Navy able to win their previous games via sweeps. And that one is inside, so things are not done yet here. Buhay pa rin. Yeah, Rosetta continues to fire away on the side of Richmark Sports. They need to put the serve in first. Still match point. De La Vega going up. A good rebound there. Another chance. Good up by Kalin King. Dolor goes. And that does it for Navy. Two chances for Dolor. He did not disappoint. A gallant fight by Richmark, particularly in that third set. 25-22 is how it ended. Greg Dolor was just on top of that ball. He hit it above mm. the center of Richmark's forward. So that's it. It's going to be a Philippine Navy win. They will improve their win-loss record to 3-1. and one. We'll be back to wrap this game up. Just stay right there.
watching Spiker Surf Open Conference. Still on the hunt for that semi-final seed are the PGJ Sin Davy after a dominant sweep versus the Rich Mark Sports 3B lead Spikers. And I'm here with the best player of the game, Greg Delore. Greg, congratulations sa panalo. Kanina, nakwento mo at nakwento din ni Coach George sa akin na during the break, dalawang araw lang talaga yung pinahinga ninyo. All the other days, nag-training kayo, pinagtrabahuan ninyo. Itong game na to, tsaka yung mga susunod yun na game. Ano yung mga bagay sa preparation ninyo, sa training ninyo, na nag-work ngayong gabi considering yung pinakita niyong performance? Um, yung, ano, yung enjoyment ng bawat isa kasi siyempre nung mahal na araw nag-ensayo pa rin kami so in-enjoy lang namin para hindi namin namamalayan yung mga uh, times na siyempre nasa bakasyon yung mga ibang tao pero kami sabihin namin sa sarili namin na kailangan namin mag-sacrifice para sa mga darating na games namin para makuha namin yung goals na Greg, approaching na tayo midway into the eliminations round. Ano yung, paano nyo tinitingnan yung mga susunod yung nalaro at anong pwede namin abangan from the PGJ CNAV? Um, ano, uh, maging, ano lang, maging solid yung uh, gustong sistema ni Coach na mangyari sa amin is yung mga out of system na magawa namin sa pagdating ng mga darating na games namin. Yun, tapos yung more on, ano pa, more on uh, collective effort ng bawat isa sa amin. Yun yung pinakaabangan na sa amin. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa uh, kay Tita Ping, then Tito Jason, then salamat din ako sa family ko na lagi nanonood dito yung asawa ko si Charmin Dolor, then yung dalawang anak ko si Gavin and Diana. Yun din po yung family ko sa probinsya. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much and congratulations, Greg. Excited kami makita kung ano ang susunod na gagawin ng PGJC Navy. But for now, we send it over to you, Chiki Inhil. Thanks so much, Noreen, and congratulations to our family man, a much-deserved POG. Uh, honors to Greg Dolor with 15 points, 12 on attack, 2 blocks, and 1 ace. That's his usual numbers, that's his usual average, uh, so it was not surprising for us to see Greg Dolor still play on a very high level. College pa lang, he was already a standout for the Far Eastern University Tamaraos, but uh, he has been one of the main guns of the Philippine Navy here in the Spikers Turf. Not just in, in this edition, even in the past, mm -hmm. alam natin uh, what he's capable of. So it was a well-deserved uh, POG honors for Greg Dolor. And taking a look at the stats here, Neil. Yeah, attacks uh, was definitely the focus of the Philippine Navy aside from their blocking. And uh, for Richmark Sports, it was still better compared to the four in set number two. So that's a good takeaway for them. Mm -hmm. Na kaya naman pala nila dumikit. It was 22 to 25. Yeah. So in the succeeding games, they really have to find enjoyment in what they do. They have to be able to catch themselves pag medyo bumababa na yung body language. Now. But for now, they will go back to the drawing board. And as for the Philippine Navy, they will try to continue to extend their winning streak in their succeeding games. Mm -hmm. You talked about this karte and how important that is for any team. And that is something that really you learn from experience. You're physically being challenged by a stronger team so that you are forced to be more creative and to learn how to attack things in different ways. And I think that is the biggest takeaway for Rich Park today. It was not uh, an entire loss for them today. Up next, we've got the VNS Nasty Griffiths going up against the Navigators of Iloilo, also without a loss yet. And uh, make sure you stick uh, here with us for the rest of our uh, doubleheader for the Spikers Turf. This has been Chiki Robopuno with Neil Flores and Doreen Suaybagio. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time.